In our previous video where we took a look at some of the best and worst things about the S22 Ultra, I teased this home screen setup. You should definitely check out that video by the way, but you asked for it, so here it is. This is the Galaxy S22 Ultra and this is how I've made it mine. Like with the Pixel 6 Pro setup, I am using Nova Launcher 7 again. I'm using a grid size of 9x6, the icon size is set to 85%, icon labels are disabled and so is the status bar, so 2 out of 3 with a clean trifecta. I've got the Google feed off to the left of my main home screen, this is really easy to enable. Make sure you check out the description for the bits and pieces I used to put this setup together. Uh, speaking of which, let's get to these widgets. This main one up top is from sheer for kwgt and this is easily one of the best KWGT skin packs out there. Originally, I wasn't going to use this particular widget, but something I changed later on brought the whole look together, and we'll get to that in a bit. Below that, I've got a seven day widget. I ripped this one from another sheer for KWGT widget. Uh, it was a last minute addition, but I think it looks nice. Below that, I've got the stock Nova Launcher search bar with some tweaks made to it, and these two widgets sit in the dock, so whatever home screen I'm on, these are always there. I've got three icons sandwiched between these widgets, and this is the Delta icon pack by the way, it's an oldie but a goodie. And as you've probably seen me do before, some of these icons double as folders. Now if I tap on them, they'll open up the application that is shown, but if I swipe up, it'll open up the folder. And this is really easy to set up, it's nothing too crazy, but it's a great tweak you can make. On the next home screen, I've got yet another sheer for KWGT widget, and originally this was just a placeholder until I found something different, but I ended up sticking with this one anyway. I do plan on changing that preset text a little bit, and when I tap on the weather section, I have it set to open up the baked in One UI weather application. On the third home screen, I've just got this month calendar widget. If you've been keeping up with my setups for a while, you'll know that I almost always have this widget on my home screen. I've been using it for well over five years. It's just a favorite of mine. I can't help it. There really isn't anything quite like it, at least that I've seen. Now, what really brought this whole setup together, in my eyes, was the live wallpaper. This is Wave Live Wallpaper. And fun fact, this app was released April 2nd, 2012. So as of this video, just shy of 10 years ago. It's pretty crazy. I actually forgot it existed until I started putting this setup together. There's a lot to choose from here. You're looking at 26 different themes and you can customize the color scheme, the background, the waves themselves. You can add an overlay and you can adjust the overall performance. And this is probably going to be my go-to for a while as I test out all of the different combinations. Since this is a One UI device, one thing I always do is grab the Good Luck application from the Galaxy Store. This adds a whole new layer of customization, and you can do a lot with this, but for now, the only thing that I've done so far is change the look of the task changer. Now, I like the stack layout much more than the default one, so gotta have that. We've actually got a video coming soon taking a more in-depth look at Good Luck, so keep an eye out for that. Closing things out with the app drawer, there's nothing too crazy going on here. I usually have everything organized into folders as you may have seen before, uh, but this time around I decided to give tabs another shot, where every category has its own page, and I'm liking this so far. It's a nice change of pace. I've got tabs for Google apps, social apps, tools, media, and games and emulators, so on and so forth. And I went ahead and I listed a few notable applications I've been using in the description if you're interested. But that's pretty much it for this setup. It's very simple. I just really like the aesthetic of it and I hope you do as well. Let me know what you would change, add, or take away down below in the comments. It's been Zach, I'll talk to you later and thank you for watching.